Have you ever been asked to describe someone? Maybe you were asked to say three nice things about someone, or how would you describe this person in one word? That can be hard to do sometimes, especially if you don't know the person very well. Well, in the Bible, there's this man named Jesus, and he's the Messiah and Savior of the world. But back in Bible times, people were trying to figure out who he was. They didn't know. They were confused. So when Jesus and his disciples entered town, Jesus asked them, so who do the people think the Son of Man is? So the disciples replied, they think that you are either the prophet Elijah, John the Baptist, the prophet Jeremiah, or any of the other Old Testament prophets. The people were still trying to figure it out. So after Jesus heard how the people were describing him, Jesus turned to his disciple Peter and asked, who do you say I am? So Peter had spent a lot of time with Jesus, and so he got to see all the things that he could do. He got to know more. So when he was asked that question, he knew that Jesus was far more than what the people thought. So Peter responded in Matthew 16, 16. Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. So when we spend time with someone, we get to know them. So when we're asked to say three nice things about someone or to describe someone, because we spend time with them, we can. And because Peter had spent time with Jesus, God gave him an understanding of who Jesus was. And Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus was the Messiah, which means anointed one. And he was the savior that the Old Testament prophets had been talking about for years. So Peter had spent a lot of time with Jesus. So he was able to describe Jesus and even know who he was. Which brings me to the question of how much time have you spent with Jesus? Do you know him well or do you feel like you're still getting to know him? Jesus, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being the Messiah and the savior of the world. I want to get to know you more so that I can describe you and share you with all my friends. And God, just thank you for loving me. In your name I pray, amen.